Doing bullish. Hey, Jack, how are you, man? Good to have you, Greek Fender. Yes, bullish. Second round of interviews, Istanbul. Yes. Route scans a giga, giga company now. <laughs> Three but, months later. Yeah, no, 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 but, but we, we grow. Yeah, we mean, so, we grew over the last three months, two, four months. Now we can, you know, from our clients, we have the last but better chain. And I can now say we have Tyco. Tyco scan is coming. Um, we already got the, the Cadillac score for Icon. And uh, I must say, if all the things come through, at Elite Denver, we may have 10 new more explorers, guys, yeah, that are for a seamless group chain future. I'm happy to hear that. And I was telling you, what one of the things I'm most bullish about with route scan is I've got this big modular things that's going on, but it's really about unlocking all these new block, all these new blocks of this through all these different app chains, general purpose rollups, elf knees, ZK stack, OP stack, arbitral orbit. What excites me about what you guys are building is that, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're going to where the users are. You're, you can meet projects where, where they are and scale route scan to almost an infinite number of chains. There are a lot of server costs. Yes, but yeah, that's what's that's what's very exciting about uh, us. Where you guys are. The other thing is just uh, just in, in, in you know here at November we we're constantly trying to understand how to make this little business model sustainable. Um, you know, and thing is for high profile chains, uh, we have you know we have this uh, trying we're trying to understand how to best service all the chains. So right now because. The OP stack, AME, Fork, 4844, like Ninfo limits uh, and employs to like lower the cost like by 90%. So most chains will have like $1,000 a month of, of costs. So how can we actually do that? Because, you know, uh, Etherscan is charging one payment. Uh, we charge 80%. That's for the same little kind of chain. But how can we service the even man, like low, low TPS chain, like all the TPS that build the chain set up like it? Really low TPS and then maybe grow over time. So we're like, yeah, maybe let's let's find let's find a way to which which you pay like they pay as you go, uh, explorer service, and and then you can just simply switch to the price in one of the best limits where you when you grow. You actually grow when you grow. Yes, in a sense. So like most chains that pay a thousand dollars on or on on for for cost of the alternative chain or pay I don't know three thousand dollars for a conduit. Wallop as a service provider, you know, and service, uh, pay, we would, would have to pay like $500 you know, yeah. where an Etherscan like blocks for. Yeah, and then if, if they grow, yes, they may be paying more money, but then they can come to us and say, okay, uh, we're going like to 10, P 10 TPS, let's not, you know, please, let's not pay, I don't know, 1 million per year, but let's keep the cost down. How we're going to have a more like six fee um, type thing. And so that's that's basically the the, the single call to actually the right now is we want to service even the lowest tier of of the uh, of the longest tails and because there are going to be so many all the new chains yes like yeah. gold the old gold chain the L three that is uh, going on all the AP stack well now I do this, this is what I mean it's, yeah this, this is what I'm saying it's a game that now it settles on one day so right. like they may be having like one TPS because it's it's a game so how many transactions can you make. And um, there is, yeah, it's a strategic game. So it's not right. like DeFi game, so it's strategic. So maybe they have one, two TPS, and so maybe they'll pay like $500 for an Explorer that, and it also, if that, since they settle on days, for the first few runs, it's gonna be for free because we are subsidizing for the retro PGF. And yes, and that's what we're gonna do. You know, we make sure that we don't want chart chains. Like, if there's some like, initiatives like retro PGF, then we don't mind. It's the enterprise. It's a public good. Yes. It's a business, right? It, and, you know, every company in crypto has to figure out how to keep, uh, consistently uh, grow and, and, and feed the good ball and be sustainable. Um, but the beauty of a lot of these grant programs and things is that, you know, you can offer subsidized costs. And I, I foresee a world where RouteScan is the walking store for every new app chain, for all these new general purpose chains that allows you to kind of also strategically place your bets in a way with different chains at the earliest stages, uh, which I think is probably exciting for you guys. Yeah, the thing is, every new chain that even the, the biggest or the lowest would be integrated on our route scan platform. Yep. That, that, you know, when like we now have 50,000 users that only use route scan as the main explorer. Like they don't use the single chain one, they just use the route scan as the goal team. Right. And this is, this is you know, increasing. You know, we have like a hundred, a thousand users in, in July last year, but now we have 80,000. 
50,000 users just use routescan.io instead of using the subdomains and all wow. the, you know, these sub explorers. And you guys can put them all together as well. Correct. Superscan is, Correct. is the optimistic stack. It, so in Superscan, well, are you able to think be able to also index and aggregate L3 settlement on base? Correct. All in Superscan? Yes. So Superscan should be the blocking score for every single L3 yes. and L2 in the office. But I'm going to tell you more. We, we actually recently acquired the based scan domain. Um, so based, based scan will be the, is the base explorer or more super scan. But the thing is, it will also be the ecosystem explorer for chain hit settle on base. No way. So the thing is... Is this the alpha? Is this the announcement? No, no, this is not the alpha, but the thing is... Yeah. But the thing is... Uh, if you want to have an idea of what's actually settling on a specific chain, we will have that. So we will have like specific explorers that may become ecosystem explorers of their own because of new chains and settle on town. Right. So with, with base scan, you can effectively be the Hebrew scan, if you will, of BIPs. Correct. As that scales, that scales to a world where not only is RadScan as a company everywhere with all these new chains, but the individual like sub domains or sub uh, area explorers are the main explorer for that ecosystem. Correct. And that's just like, RouteScan is the brand that holds it, and then th those ecosystems are all there. And then there's just the experience. Let's talk about the experience a bit. Why do you think that you guys have seen this level of success? How is base scan uh, optimized to be just the best box for last of all? So the basic idea is that, um, and this is something that, that I just talked about in I talk 30 minutes ago, is that uh, chains pay explorers. But chains do not choose the explorer they want because chains want developers. And developers bring users. So if chain wants to bring users, they need to acquire developers. And so the thing is, the, the, really, the real decision makers of block score choice are developers. So it's curves, Aves, or whatever other, other um, big application, a compound or whatever, they are used to the Ethoscan interface right now. That's what a chain that is going to be, you know, have a lot, have, have a lot of developers want. Right. So that's that's our case. So we want to have, but the thing is, the, the front end, yeah, it's pretty the same, you know, it's, it's similar to, to Ethoscan. And it's a blog explorer. Yeah. Like, people don't want something completely new. Correct. They want something that they're used to with maybe some better function. They want a developer, a block explorer, that it's a developer tool. Right. Because uh, you need to, you know, min, if, if something is not working, you can like write a contract directly from the block explorer. Yep. And and that that is one business. And so basically, um, we are seeing that the people want more of, like developers want more of these Ethoscan, but for every, every type of block of chain from the highest tiers to the lowest tiers. But the other thing is that we need to look at the, at the users as well. So that's why we are like, we are trying to continue to use RouteScan as a money making machine, let's say, and we will have a lot of traction with that, with that. But at the same time, we're also experimenting on AvaScan. So AvaScan is what we think would be the which is the, for the future. It's not, it's not there yet, you know, it's a, but it's the ground for experimentation. And we will have a lot more feature over there with staking, um, like new buttons will be a platform where you can actually interact easily as a user, not at the button. Smart contracts. Correct. Right? Because for example, not to cut you off there, but on the, on the interface of Deep by exploits in 2020, there was, there was times in the UX who exploited the website, but you could still withdraw from the smart contracts. Yes. But only like the, like the nitty gritty developers would build us. And I, I don't assume that Beavis scan and scan will get all the way down to like the, the easiest and bind for the average yes. user, but something Maybe more. Maybe three, five years, yeah, right. So that's that's a, more than kind of it. Yes, that's a, that's a, that's a multi-year journey to understand how. Because right now, you know, there are a lot of blockers providers like, like Social Scan, or Want Scout, and Dora, and Lore. Everyone is trying to get its own flavor of what a block supposed should be, but some of them, some of them are advertising themselves as for a user friendly, as academic friendly, as a um, analyst friendly. Yeah, the thing is, still don't know what a block tier should be. We, we do know that Metaverse want a ether scan like it's perfect because that's what the boss used to, and that's what the you know use good. So that's a cross scan. That's what the, the single thing that we do we did was. Take Hitler's care and make it natively more efficiently fine. So that when you develop a cross chain application, we can simply develop, deploy it on the same address on multiple chains, pulse with all the workroom tools like in Avenir, integrated. And 
that's the easiest way that you can actually have a unified experience for a really developer hold of. And so that's the single thing that we did, like we was just ether student saying, okay, yeah, the single change is not going to happen. People, developers don't even need to care about which, which truth, which chain they're, they're going to deploy on because like a lot of applications are 20 chains. Uniswap is, I don't know, 30 chains, whatever. How can you manage all that? You have to deploy these single explorers every time? No. So here, just have one a single explorer that you see the contracts and everything for a single webs, the website. And as I kind of came with to it, it would, in the beginning, it will just continue to allude to is that here's Baja's thesis, this, this, this idea of more blockchains, more block space, more absolute wallops, more subnets, more every, more chains. You have just position the very, very uh, uh, dominant and, and also good uh, front hard to fit spot. So I can, I'm excited to continue to see the growth and um, any closing thoughts. I know you're feeling very bullish and yeah. Uh, the closing thought is uh, since the November, you know, deals couldn't seem to be closed like this. Um, I think we, <laughs> I think we we can have we can say that. Uh, on broad scan, you will be able to see like 10% of coin market cap. I am on you. Wow. Like more than a round of chains. Wow. Every roll up heart architecture in super scan, in Optimus, the big stack, OP stack, mm -hmm. super chat, team super scan, yes. avalanche, out of scan on subnets as well. Yes. Pure takeover. Yes. We want to get that for thief. Thanks, Jack. Good interview. Nice, guys. Good work, Trent.